Coach, you got the second spring scrimmage in the books, and you have to be pleased with what you accomplished today. You know, we played so hard. I'm out there trying to just watch, not so much how much we execute an offense or a defensive scheme, but watch how fast we play, how much we hustle to the ball, how much we get up off the ground and go back and play fast. Of course, we do a lot of things fast on offense, but everybody's doing that, so it's nothing new to anybody. I I've done that for years, but it does make us continue to move and continue to move, and it forces kids to play through a little bit of uh, exhaustion, a little tiredness. And, uh, but I thought they played hard. We gave up a little. I thought the offense jumped on the defense early, but I tried to explain to our defense that, that in a game that always happens, they got a couple of plays that you aren't ready for. And you know Rich, he's going to have a couple of things they hadn't seen. He scores a couple of times, then the defense bowed up and played well the rest of the half. So I think we learned some lessons there. And, uh, and had a, I thought it was a great day, a great day of work. You also got a lot of different reps for different guys today. I think that's yeah. the other thing too. As you try to not only evaluate the first and second team, right. but but figure out where that depth's coming well, from. Well, I mean, you know, you know, John, you're exactly right because not only are we trying to find out who our starters are going to be, but who doesn't look like look like they're ready to help us yet? Who is not quite there? That they're more likely to be another year of development and red shirting, and where we might uh, uh, pick up a, a portal transfer here or there. So it's very important. Unfortunately, we're not just finding out who the best are, but who the guys that don't seem ready to go. Uh, and so we're getting a good feel for that, and because we'll have a we'll have a strong coaches evaluation. Uh, Monday morning, but we're not going to say we're not going to lay it all to bed till after that Saturday because we think Saturday's scrimmage will be a good scrimmage of live going against each other. And with the spring game coming up, yeah. you've set on a format. You're going to have first team defense against first team offense, yeah. second team defense against second team offense. It'll be a good opportunity for the fans to see kids just go out there and play football. And you know, if people know what we're trying to do, they'll love it because you're seeing the very best on offense play against the very best on defense. Should be fairly equal. Two's on offense, two's on defense, very equal. Sometimes when you've got you've got the same guys coming back, and you just want to go out there and polish your game. It's the best against the rest, and it's a blowout. Uh, and they don't want to get anybody hurt. They want to play hard. They just kind of show themselves, but. This is going to be this is going to be like a strong weekday scrimmage, and so we'll get the best. If we go the best against best, the best against best, we'll have one more great evaluation, and then because we missed a rain day earlier, we'll probably have one short stay uh, the week following. And I'm sure too they're going to look forward to the opportunity of getting out in front of the fans, and I know that you're excited too with the collaborative effort of the campus to really make this a day-long activity geared towards families. Really, I think it's going to be a great weekend because our, our school, everybody around town, we've all been stuck in a daggum quarantine for over a year. We're tired of it. We're ready to get out. I think the school's got a lot of stuff planned during the week, a lot of stuff planned on Saturday, and it will culminate with our game at 6 p.m. So everybody, come out if you get a chance. Come out and join us. Be a part of the block party. Be a part of the reason that we're going to have success be what makes this stadium such a great place to be. It's got to be fans in the stands.